Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily Jones, and I am a former paparazzi consultant, only star. I wasn't an elite. Now I speak out against the things that I experienced firsthand. I also shall share stories from other paparazzi consultants who have left the company or who are or who are currently still in the company and not brave enough to share their story. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. You must be subscribed now to leave a comment on my videos, and that is because I am trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year. Mm -hmm. So if you can help me reach that goal, that would be super, super fantastic. Leave me a thumbs up, and if you have a comment for me, feel free to leave it down below. I enjoy the debate. I enjoy reading your site insights and your thoughts. Um, they're all excellent. And if you're not brave enough to comment uh, down below, my email is right over there. And you can email me things if you want to. Also, if you want to send me something for a small business shout out, I'm happy to do that for you. My P.O. box is listed in the description of the video and also on the About Me tab of my channel. Anyway, with that laundry list of items out of the way, let's get started, okay? Okay. So um, I figured we'd get started with the, uh, the leadership stuff that I've been talking about recently and what I feel makes a good leader and how I think the leader should actually lead. I, I touched base on this uh, yesterday just a, a little bit during my life. So um, we've seen the Empower Me Pink videos We've seen the Empower Me Pink posts. We've seen everyone talk about how great Empower Me Pink has been. Um, and what was Empower Me Pink all about? Uh, not letting water into your boat. The best time to start is now. Okay. And uh, Suze Pope is apparently doing a training or did a training this morning um, to help people be in the running for a Z collection piece. And how did she get a Z collection piece for her? Well, Suze, you recruited people, didn't ya? Yeah. And I don't recall you, um, uh, I mean, you talked about PV, you talked about that, but yeah, it, it's about your recruits. Uh, getting a Z collection piece named after you is clout, yes, but it's also about recruits. So, you know, there's that. So, you know, I've, I've, I've had a, a few leaders reach out to me and they've been upset with me doing this, okay? And like I said in, in past videos, I, I, want my, I want leaders to be honest. I mean, that, that's the, that's the, uh, the kit and caboodle of all of this. I just want honesty and transparency. You know, had I known what I know now, would I have joined this company? No. Had I known what I know now, would I have joined paparazzi? No. No, 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 no. Okay? I would not have joined this company. Yes, the jewelry is cute. But had I known what I know now, would I have joined? Not in a million years. Had I kept my website, my Shopify store, I probably would have gone into business for myself. And I probably would have uh, done everything in my power to compete with this company. To do my own wholesale jewelry business. To compete with the likes of this shit. Because... You know, I look at the stuff that's still available in the back office after new releases drop, and, you know, isn't that gorgeous? So cute. So fun. Uh, and I look at the stuff that's still available after all the new hot items are picked clean from the shelves. Um, it's the same stuff day after day. I mean, we have Life of the Party pieces. We have, and, and this, this pair of earrings right here really drives me nuts. Okay, you can tell that these are pieces of chains put on little eyelets and then put it on an O-ring. 
But look at the quality of the piece of that chain. It could stab you in the neck. Okay? It, it doesn't look like a high quality item. And I would not pay $275 for it, let alone $5. And if you do pay $5 for that, can I ask a serious question? Why? Why would you pay $5 for that? You could go through your paparazzi jewelry right now. Right now. And make those yourself out of broken pieces. Okay? Um, I'm not making this up. I mean, earrings like this is why I was reported to compliance, you guys. It was because the free earrings, they come with every paparazzi necklace because they're such a high quality item. Okay, and I'm just gonna get a pair out real quick. So the free earrings that come with every paparazzi necklace, um, especially the ones that have the three chains, and these are taking their time coming off with this stupid card. All right, so this is a free pair of earrings that came with one of the chokers I bought from Courtney Kavaka's store. All right, it's a paper clip chain on a fish hook. Now, if there were three of the paper clip chains on here, I would get out my needle nose pliers and I would probably hoop some of them up to change the length, but you can't alter the jewelry in any way. You're not allowed to alter it at all. Um, and I'm sorry, that's, I think that's the reason why paparazzi doesn't like you to alter the jewelry because they do it for you. All right, so there's that. All right, so I say that a lot and I'm sorry, that's just something I say. So Empower Me Pink, <coughs> leadership, here we go. Um, I received a paparazzi insider email this week and give me a second to pull it up. So give me a second. This was sent to me from somebody who attended Empower Me Pink, and it was also forwarded to me from another active consultant. So let me get into my Gmail. So um, I, I appreciate it when you guys send these to me, so I'm going to pull it up. So open enrollment for Empower Me Pink, attendees only. So you know the leaders are going to, this is a fear of missing out tactic. This is something paparazzi does. Fashion Fix enrollment is now open exclusively for Empower Me Pink attendees. So if you didn't go to Empower Me Pink, you are now missing out on darn enrolling in Fashion Fix and giving $68.75 plus tax and shipping to paparazzi every month on the 19th of the month. Ooh, ah. The whole reason they need those Fashion Fix enrollments, you guys, and why they're making it sound so exclusive to those who went to Empower Me Pink is because, you know, they need that money rolling in so they can pay their uplines. Yeah. Why do you think um, your your elites encouraged fashion fix enrollment? Because it was guaranteed to A, keep you active as a star consultant every month, and B, it ensured that they were going to get a paycheck. Leadership 101. How can I get you to do something that will benefit me? That's not leadership, okay? Getting someone to do something so it benefits you is greed, it's selfishness, I don't agree with it. All right, so back to the paparazzi email. As a special thank you for intending Empower Me Pink, you're invited to skip the waiting list and enroll now! <laughs> this is a limited time offer exclusively for attendees who have checked into the event. Ooh ah. The Fashion Fix must have a monthly subscription for any consultant ready to take their business to the next level. <coughs> Excuse me, no. What? Taking it to the next level? Okay. Not only does Fashion Fix put the paparazzi stylist in your back pocket at every party you throw, but it also provides perfectly curated trade blends from each of the five paparazzi collections. Ooh, ah. Plus, you get five exclusive pieces that are only in your Fashion Fix box. And what, are, what am I talking about? Uh, these right here. One, two, three, four, five. These are the five exclusive pieces you got. You got the saddlebag copper earrings, the weird amulet that looks like a crushed bug, and the butterfly bracelet in copper and 3D butterflies. Wow. So anyway, thank you for the person who sent me that one. That one was awesome. 
Uh, so, um, a little celebration, you guys, and I wanted to share a celebration with somebody, of somebody. So this is somebody who left paparazzi, and she has been trying to get rid of the inventory that she had. She had over 15,000 pieces. Um, apparently she sent me a small way and she got a big order on her website today and now she only has 2,002 pieces left to go. Congratulations. I'm super happy for you. That's great. So, um, you'll see the response in the video. Alrighty. And then, yeah. Okay, back to this. Back to the leadership thing. So here's the Fashion Fix pieces. These are the pieces that you'd be missing out on if you didn't enroll. And then we've got the Life of the Party pieces. Let's just go through the Life of the... Uh, not Life of the Party. Empower Me Pink pieces! Let's go through that again. Emily can't think straight. There we go. Uh, this is an Empower Me Pink exclusive. Says that. Says that avocado piece. And those and that and I'm gonna do a video later which will show later this week that's a Nihau special you can get that on Nihau you can get it on Wish you can get it at Alibaba yeah that necklace right there which is an empower me pink exclusive can exclusively be yours for two dollars and seventy five cents as a consultant or you can go to a mass wholesaler and buy it for less than a dollar. Hmm. Which one would I do? I know which one I would do because I've done it. All right. Anyway. Um, and then the Lariat bracelet. Ooh, so cute. Is that for guys or for girls? Or is it unisex? I don't know. And then we've got those. What? I feel like I'm back in middle school. Okay. This is the kind of stuff, fluorescent, stupid smiley face stuff that I wore in the seventh grade. Is the seventh grade coming back in style? I think so. So anyway, uh, Rachel, if you're watching this, <laughs> do those look like the things we wore to gym class like, and thought we were so cool? <laughs> so yes. Anyway, hi friends back in Utah. And then um, here's another piece. This is from Empower Me Pink. I love how people are claiming on the paparazzi website. Do you not understand how this works? Do you not understand how any of this works? <laughs> oh my gosh, it cracks me up. And then we've got Flex. And it's rose gold, so it's bomb. And it's a paperclip chain, so it's cheap. But again, I wouldn't be spending money on that. That, I just think, is too freaking huge for anybody to have on their finger. And that looks... Oh, it's annoying. And then here's a Fashion Fix set. There it is on. There's another Fashion Fix set. Missy was wearing that one. There's another Fashion Fix set. And another. And another. Ooh. It's a Valentine's set that's still available in your back office right now. And guess what? Valentine's Day is tomorrow. And then I don't know what would inspire anyone to buy those. I, I wouldn't. They're not precious gems to me. And then we've got a fashion fix ring from a few months ago in copper. <sighs> And, you know, this looks like Starry Starry Night to me. This one piece right here that I'm circling. If you look at it from a distance, it looks like a Van Gogh. Okay? It really does. It looks like a Van Gogh to me. But the, the necklace itself just looks incredibly cheap. Ooh, it's Misty Kirby's favorite color, and it's a guitar pick with Flex's shell in it. Ooh, ah. Um, ear crawlers. You know, stars. And then we've seen that, and that, and those, and that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, look. Get a Z collection piece for your wife for Valentine's Day. No, don't. Don't do that. Get her a lottery ticket. Get her something she would actually enjoy. Not something she can't wear to the grocery store. 
unless she wants to go to the grocery store looking like a crazy person. Um, okay. Yeah, if there's one thing they love, it's pink. I hate pink. Pink is my least favorite color. Um, that must have sold out. I don't remember seeing that. I love the comment, though. That's different. <laughs> meaning, that's different, meaning I don't think I'm going to buy that. It's ugly. <laughs> that's different, meaning... Ew. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Uh, fishing wire flowers on a fake leather band. It's supposedly a snap bracelet. And the first thing that came to mind when I saw this picture is, Groove is in the heart. I mean, it's like, woo! I mean, seriously, that's the song that came in my head. I mean, I can't even do the pop noise. Yeah, I can't do it. David can do it. I can't do it. But I love these people's comments. Uh, times 10. Um, Crystal Waller Gonzalez, you can't order from here. You have to go to your back office. And if you didn't go to Empower Me Pink, I guess you missed out. But don't go seeking out this stuff from your upline who went to Empower Me Pink. Just don't do it, okay? We're gonna talk about that again this week too. Oh look, it's an iridescent butterfly and it's a 3D butterfly. That'll get caught on your sweater and snag it, but it's a lariat style. This is another Empower Me Pink beautiful piece that they brought out exclusively for those who went to Empower Me Pink. It's gorgeous. That looks stabby. <laughs> okay, one of you, one of my viewers, sent me, uh, I think it was these earrings, and they're like, Misty Kirby ripped this off for me. I designed those when I was in kindergarten, and I have the proof. <laughs> and I was like, well, if you didn't, you know, and my thoughts, and, and this is just my thought when I read your email. I'm like, well, if you didn't patent the design, I guess you're SOL. But I knew you were just being funny and joking, but yeah. Yeah, that looks like something a kid in grade school would come up with. And that's the point she was trying to make, but yeah. Oh, goody, the leaf necklace chain is back. Now, I have a necklace made out of this kind of chain. What's the difference? They put paint on the end of it. But that necklace is very similar to a fashion fix set from years ago. Oh, good God, enough with this. Enough. I'm so, I'm so over it. Paint's even on the, on the studs. So you know it's a quality item if paint is even on the stud of the earring. I guarantee you after a couple of wears that flower is going to fall off and you're going to be left with the post in your ear. Okay, because that's what's happened with post earrings from paparazzi in my case. I don't know if any of you have experienced that. But the actual earrings broke off the post, and I had just nothing but a post in my ear. So I just don't see quality when I look at that. And what I'm talking about with the earrings that had the post, they were the acrylic glittery white hoops that broke. Really? Ni hao. A ni hao necklace? Really? This is an Empower Me Pink exclusive, a Nihau necklace. Everybody who loves this, go to Nihau and buy your own inventory and don't give $275 to this company. They're not actually wholesaling you anything. Ugh. Okay. And then, of course, Life of the Crappy is hitting this week. Get your Blissentials pack. All right. So if your leaders uh, are coming to you and telling you now, because now Empower Me Pink is over, if your leader, leaders are coming to you and encouraging you to sign up for a fashion fix, think twice. You shouldn't be signing up for a fashion fix. Um, because if you go to Paparazzi Jewelry website, so Paparazzi Jewelry for Sale, and let's see, who is, do, 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 do. 
I'm looking for some $5 fix. Okay, affordable, stylish jewelry. Jewelry. So, here we go. Here's her life of the crappy. So, she has a whole bunch of life of the crappy. Notice, um, she has all the, the sold out old to new. Filter by available. See, she has 184 products in her life of the crappy. I don't know who a lasting impression is. But we're going to go back to home. And we're going to go to Fashion Fix. Now, Fashion Fix is so exclusive. And if I sell it, she has 19 pages of Fashion Fix. Now, I don't know if she uh, takes off the sold out things. But look. She has the Simply Santa Fe set that everyone had to get their hands on. Uh, Fighting Fortune was a fashion fix pair of earrings in black. Now it's available in silver and in gold on the website. But if you want a fashion fix set and you can see how exclusive and how hot these items are, well, by all means, go check out all the Active Consultants websites and see how many pieces a lot of these people have that they're still stuck with, okay? I mean, again, if it's sold out, take it off your fucking website, people. Leadership 101. And with that approach, I'm just gonna leave this here for a second. Leaders. Leaders who don't lead by example. Um, I'm talking to all of the elites who refuse to transfer all of their stuff over to Paparazzi Premier. They refuse to use it. Why? Because Paparazzi Premier will have more information about your customer base and what you're actually selling. And if you want your new consultants to use Premier, you should know how to use Premier. So you can teach them how to use Premier instead of relying on these training videos that the paparazzi dorks do. Yeah, but that's the thing. You don't want to lead by example because you do not want paparazzi corporate to know who you're actually selling to. These are my thoughts. Prove me wrong. It's my opinion. It's my channel. Prove me wrong. But I don't see someone uh, moving everything from their, sh you know, Shopify or Square or Comment Sold web store um, anytime soon. I don't see you transferring everything over to Premiere. And I know why you don't want to. I, I have a deep down feeling that you don't want to use Premiere because you don't want everyone to know how much you're not really selling. I mean, just look at this person's store, you guys. We're on seven pages of Fashion Fix. Nobody should have, I mean, she doesn't sell them in individual sets. She sells them individual pieces, okay? But we're going through all these Fashion Fix sets, and there's a lot here. So you know she's not, you know, selling out. I mean, the inspirational Fashion Fix from a couple months ago, it's still available. But it's, it's rather telling, in my humble opinion, that if they're unable to sell it, what makes you think you can sell all of it? And I don't know how many pieces she gets each month, nor do I care, okay? But you see all of these Fashion Fix pieces that are available on this person's website, and you're like, hmm... Should I enroll in this? It looks like she's stuck with a lot of rings. It looks like she's stuck with a lot of bracelets. It looks like she's stuck. Oh my gosh, I have those. I didn't know they were a fashion fix set. Huh, interesting. But it's like, I wouldn't want to be stuck with all of this. Would you? Because I know I wouldn't want to be. I mean... There's fashion fix sets from when I was a consultant on this person's website. This one right here, in Hope Places. I had that in my store. And then, oh my gosh, the ugly macrame fashion fix set. And then Frozen Gardens. I, didn't, I never realized that they, uh, they stole that from Disney. 
And then we've got more knockout knot. I had that. I had this too. This knockout knot broke. Those earrings broke the first day I wore them. One fell out of my ear and half of the things fell off. That drove me nuts. Oh man, this it's sick. It's sick, sick, sick. September 2020. Yeah, there's there's a lot here, you guys. And it's painful. It it hurts. And what's funny is is all of these fashion fix sets that are in here right now. Um this was at the height of paparazzi fame and fortune, you know. The height of 2020 when they were getting a bunch of people to sign up for Fashion Fix. I have that set too. Um, they were, yeah. That's cute. I would probably actually wear that. I've never seen that before. But don't sign up for Fashion Fix, you guys. Because once you do, you're pretty much stuck with some of this stuff. I mean, here's a Fashion Fix set from when I was a consultant. It's still there. This, this, this. I have those and those. But yeah, now we're getting into the fashion fix sets that I had when I was a consultant that I could never sell. And I ended up giving half of them away. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm even seeing stuff I still own. Yeah, it's depressing. I don't know about you guys. Is it worth it? I don't know. All right, so this video has been going for 30 minutes. Congratulations to the person that just sold a bunch of their inventory off. Hopefully it didn't go to another consultant that's inventory loading. And you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I, my apologies at the end of this video. Again, my brain isn't 100%. I'm still in fibro fog. So if I said I was going to talk about something and I didn't, I'll eventually get to it, I promise. All right, bye.